James, there was a phenomenal performance today as we beat Watford 3-2 away from home. How happy are you with today's game? We're delighted really, Ben. The, the squad are happy, the staff are happy. The staff have done a fantastic job this week, putting on the provision for the players so that they could have close to a, um, a full-time access, really, to everything they needed at the club. Um, and the players have responded really well. And, and, and we saw that in the game. Um, so we're, we're delighted and I'd like to emphasise that this is, this is building on the work of um, Karen Stefanou and everybody from um, a, couple of, a couple of months ago um, and look, we're getting there um, and today is a good day. The first half was outstanding from everyone as we went 3-0 up. What was your reaction to seeing us get that far ahead? I think uh, defensively and offensively, we, we deserve that, but we're also mindful that the opposition were playing well. Um, we, we were just particularly effective in, in certain moments, which is what we planned and spoke about uh, before the game. So um, it, it certainly doesn't change our uh, perspective on the opposition, who we know are very, very competent. Um, but what, what it does show is that where we get success out of doing things well, um, that we are understanding um, that, you know what, this, this game's not so different to the last game. It's not so different to the game before. It's not so different to the game before that. So we're hopefully building um, competence and confidence with, within our squad. So, yeah, we, we were really happy, but we're also mindful that, look, we still want to create chances and we still want to defend well. Um, and that's, that's what got us over the line. Yeah, we, we tend to take a while to adjust on a, on a grass pitch. Are you impressed with how quickly we adapted and got playing football today? I think so, and that's, that's, that's what the warm-up's for, to, um, to work the conditions out and, and be happy with them by the time we start play. Um, a lot of our players haven't come through um, what are now called RTCs or academies. A lot of them have come through the old-fashioned pa uh, pathway of, um, of weekend football. And this is, um, yeah, this is, this, is, this is where many of our players are at home on a grass pitch. So hopefully we have the best of both worlds. We've got this fantastic 4G home pitch, um, which, which we're so happy with. Um, but also when we come to places like this, we, 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 can, we, can, enjoy, um, we can enjoy the old fashioned smell of the grass and lean of the pitch and the different bounce of the ball because we know that too. Watford got back into the game in the second half and got their two goals. Um, but the girls showed real determination to not concede again and hold out for the win. Are you happy with their desire today from the team? The, this is, I think, the, the big strength of, of Billericay Town. This is why I joined the club, because I could see hungry players, I could see staff who, who, who really cared for the club, um, all around the club. And, and I think moments like that, the players thrive on. Um, we try to help them. But actually, they, they, they stand up and, 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 and they stand together and, and it's a whole group. Players today who've trained well didn't even get in the squad. Um, so I think, I think the desire, the team spirit, the positivity and, and, and togetherness, which it says on the badge, that, that's what Billericay Town is and, and we saw it there today.